today we're going to talk about bias binding, but before we jump into that, there's a lot of borders and I think it's a good idea just to review a good technique to make sure your borders are going to be the right size. So we're going to do that first and then we'll do bias binding. All right, and, and I'm using this, we're going to pretend this is the top, uh, just to give you a frame of reference here. So I'm looking at this here and I want to put on the top and bottom borders. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to measure across the quilt here in three different places, so kind of evenly spaced in thirds. I'm going to measure across here, and I'm going to measure up at the top, and add those together. Then you take that number that you added together and divide it by three, and then that is the length that you make the border to go on the top and the bottom. This lesson of Ruby's Garden Block of the Month is brought to you by Paintbrush Studios, fabrics for your masterpiece.